What is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlogs. My name is Braden Carlson, and uh, I wanted to give everyone a tour of our new house's kitchen. As you know, Shane and I moved not too long ago, and uh, we've kind of been traveling a lot, so we're really just kind of settling in finally and getting everything all organized, and I thought I would give you a t Oh, that? That, yeah, the new 148th scale Estes Soyuz. You haven't seen that? Yeah, I mean, we, we can look at that. I haven't opened it yet, so we can probably, I'll show you the, yeah, I'll show you the kitchen another time. Yeah, let, let's do that. All right, let's take a look at this guy. All joking aside, this is the new SS 148th scale Soyuz, and this genuinely is the first time that I'm opening it. And, this genuinely is the first time that I'm opening it. So, for those of you who might be excited about seeing this thing get built, sorry, this is not a build video, this is an unboxing video, just to show you everything that comes with the kit that is available now. If you're already like, well, I'm sold, I'll take one of those, you can use the link in the video description to get 10% off of your Soyuz and anything else you order from ssrockets.com. Uh, just make sure you're clicking on that link that says ZWW10 at the end, if not, and you don't have that discount applied, use the discount code ZWW10 at checkout, and you should get 10% off, so long as you haven't already used my discount code. Now I've been working on trying to get S's to give me a repeated use discount code for my loyal viewers, and uh, that's been a little bit dead in the water, so we'll see how that goes. Skill level expert, surprisingly not master, Oh, you know, actually that looks a lot less intimidating than I was thinking. I guess that explains why it's just expert and not master. Let's take a look at all these bigger components first. So you can see, wow, this is really cool actually. All these crazy custom shaped nose cone. Well, I mean, I guess they're, they're not really nose cones, but they kind of are for the uh, boosters that go on the bottom, obviously. I'm assuming this is going to be our center tube that runs through the entire model. And then we've got a bunch of plastic components here that uh, define the shape even further. The iconic Soyuz, one of the longest lasting and most dependable spacecraft in the history of the world, which is pretty cool. Um, what's in this little box here? I don't really know what this is, but it looks like it glows in the dark. I mean, this is the clearly the band. All right, let me look back at the box. The band that goes around right here, it really looks like it glows in the dark. I'm gonna charge it up with my uh, little studio light here and walk down the hallway and see what's going on. Does this glow in the dark? You know what, I bet the instructions will tell me. Go ahead and open up the instructions. Now, the Estes stuff is getting pretty dang high quality with the included components. Here's some Aramid cord, just like the Jayhawk we talked about. For those unfamiliar, that's Kevlar. It's just that Kevlar is a trademark name. Plywood centering rings, it looks like. Yep, those are definitely plywood. Awesome. And I believe this is a ripstop nylon printed parachute. That it is. These are actually really cool. I remember Estes announced these not too long ago, or what feels like not too long ago to me, but probably quite some time ago. Very nice printed ripstop nylon shoots. These are really cool. Um, I kind of want to use some for like drogue shoots for big high power stuff, because they're really well designed and the sewing on them is really, really nice. And they're pretty dang inexpensive for what they are. Nice parachute, of course, elastic shock cord and there is actually a second parachute in here. Let's open this guy up, take a look. Presumably this one's bigger. This is the one I just looked at, it seemed a little small to me. And uh, I guess that means that the model comes down in two separate pieces. Which again, I bet is something that the instructions will tell me. But yeah, look at this thing, this is a cool, this is a good parachute. 
I like these a lot. Now let's take a look at some of these plastic components real quick because this really reminds me of my days building testers models of cars and airplanes. It's crazy that I used to do that and I imagine looking back now they probably don't look that great. But back then I was like, these are coming out pretty good. And uh, I'm not like the most patient person in the world. And I don't think you could convince me to build a testers model now, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe one of those Tamiya RC ones, but well, that's not the topic of today's video. Decal set, presumably water slide that appears to be just like the old Jayhawk video. Like I said, I hadn't used water slide decals in over a decade until I built the old Jayhawk. Let's see, where is our little goofy ring thing on the instructions here? Just says truss. Doesn't say anything about it being glow in the dark. It really looks like it. I know you probably can't tell on the camera what color it is, but it is that like signature off green glow in the dark color. Now I know a lot of people are probably wondering, is it a five motor cluster? No, it is not. It's a single 29 millimeter. In fact, they recommend two different motors. This is a little bit interesting. Either the F15-2 or the F15-4 for some reason. If you want a little more nose down attitude there, like uh, you can alternatively fly it on this motor. I guess maybe in like higher elevation places like in Colorado that might be necessary. The instructions do look like it calls for quite a bit of model cement. So, I mean, it's a pretty, we got, let's see, how many pages do we have here? They are not labeled, but there's quite a few. It's a pretty, pretty thick instruction manual. The molded plastic parts are actually really, really cool to look at. This thing is pretty sick. I'm gonna put the truss back in its little box here. I'm assuming that the box is because it's fragile. It's a little bit more straightforward than I thought it was going to be, if I'm honest. I mean, there are quite a few parts just around, right? But for some reason, it seems like a lot less pieces. I was almost expecting to open this thing up and see kind of like a Lego set type situation going on. Um, but it looks like as far as, you know, Crafting and shaping, a lot of the heavy lifting is done for you with the magic of plastic molding. So it's probably a lot less intimidating of a build than it looks. And now that I've opened all these pieces, they'll have the opportunity to free themselves inside the box and go all over the place. There you go. I mean, that's a lot more straightforward than I anticipated it to be. I kind of expected a lot more pieces in here. The Estes 148 scale Soyuz, available now at estesrockets.com. Uh, let's talk about when I'm going to build it. The quick and simple answer is that I probably won't. Uh, this is very cool and I love scale stuff and I have the utmost respect for people who can take their time and focus and build things that are very nicely scaled and designed like that. However, in terms of my construction preference, not exactly my cup of tea. So there's a chance this is going to instead go to Idaho and go live with my dad, who uh, is a lot more uh, equipped patience wise for stuff like this. Um, but it is a really cool rock and I want to see it get built. It's just that uh, if you watch my channel, you probably know I have an insanely long build list that is ever growing and uh, I need to kind of focus on everything else that's on the longest procedure of back burners in the most ridiculously sized commercial kitchen that there ever could be. And moreover, I need to focus on flying rockets, not just building them. So, but I did want to put this video out. I was working with Estes who sent me this rocket and I kept it very tightly under wraps. They've let me tease some stuff in the past before it got released, but this one, uh, they were quite adamant about no information coming out. Hopefully those of you that are into these scale awesome models, again, I love to see them. I would love to watch a video of this thing getting built. I think it'd be very satisfying. Like a, Adam Stavage one day build kind of thing, but it is, uh, it's not exactly my forte. So uh, I wanted to test out a new mic system that I'm using as well as the DJI mic system uh, with the hidden lav mic setup. So let me know what you think of the audio. 
Uh, I did some test footage. And I think it's really, really cool. I've got a lot of really exciting stuff in the world of high-powered rocketry coming this winter, uh, namely this December. Uh, for those of you in the know, you know why December is a uh, time you start seeing YouTube people post a lot more videos. It's because the ad rates go through the roof. So I'm going to try and have a bunch of videos ready to go. If you like hearing me blabber about rockets, great news. Me and my friends do that once a week on a podcast called the Anti-Gravity Group Podcast. Please go check that out. Uh, don't forget to press the like button beneath this video. It helps out a lot. And uh, let me know what you think of the new Soyuz or what your favorite classic SS rocket is that you would like to see them bring back. That is something I really would like to see in the comments. So tell me your favorite rocket that SS should bring back. Uh, my name is Braden Carlson. You just watched a Rocket Vlogs video, and I will see you all next time.